Riding bikes in the woods can have a transformative effect on the world. It can enable growth at a personal level or open up opportunities for an entire community. 20 years ago, the scene here was very different, but a bit of creativity combined with hard work and of course two wheels can make a world of difference. Just ask the people who call Waterbury Vermont home. Life in Waterbury is pretty sweet. I came from Chicago downtown and it was you know, sitting in traffic all the time and you didn't really know your neighbors. Moving from 5 million to 5,000 was a big change, but a, a, a welcome one. I, I love living here. You get to know almost everyone in town. I moved here for the winters and I actually stay for the summers. The summers and the, the ability to play in the mountains and play on the lake, you know, just the mild, not overly humid summers, it's great. And I like Waterbury downtown because it's a walkable downtown where not every town has that. Yeah, it's, it's good, good food, good people. The transformation really happened, I think fairly quickly, but uh, when we got here, this, it wasn't, it, it isn't what it is now, we'll put it that way. The Perry Hill Network didn't exist at, at all, really. Um, Joe Cavalier, who made Joe's trail, hadn't made his trail yet, and Hardy maybe had one trail made, so it really blossomed in the years following that. My name is Jay Proventure, and my wife and I are co-owners of Family Physical Therapy, which is down the street here in Waterbury. My name is Mark Fryer. Uh, I own three restaurants, The Reservoir, The Bench, and Trace Amigos, Rusty Nail and Stowe. My name is uh, John Dustin. I am kind of a factotum of the area. I do a lot of bike-related things. I work for Trap Family Lodge currently as their uh, bike program manager and um, uh, basically a smattering of a bunch of volunteer work throughout the area. Craft is a as a as a as a word for how the mountain bike community and the restaurant community coexist. You know, we we work really hard to we're you know we're independent we're independent orga organization. We can make changes whenever we want. We can we can always try to improve. That's the nice thing about a small town and you know I'd say Vermont or a lot of the rural areas is that we no one's really telling us where to go and how to do it. It just takes hopefully a good plan and and we, we make the changes. And so to me, an organization like our local mountain bike group, it's the same thing, right? So unlike maybe some bigger towns or states, there's some freedom to, to be creative and, and that creativity makes amazing trail systems. It makes great restaurants. And I think there is like, there is this feeling that 
I know that people are gonna come here because of the amazing trails and I wanna also say, hey, well, we support those trails. Come here after, come here before you ride your trails. It's actually a very vibrant, like very exciting place to be. A uh, lot of things happening, a lot of motivated people happen to live here and very intelligent too. One of the reasons that got me to stay in this area was that uh, vibrancy that everybody had. Um, their ability to articulate and go out and make positive things and positive change happen. We are at the crossroads. That's the name of our, you know, we're the crossroads for recreation. It's right on our sign. Uh, we have the lake, the Waterbury Reservoir, uh, Stowe Resort, Sugarbush, Mad River. Mountain biking was really coming into its own. Um, that's when the Norba mountain bikes uh, series was really popular. I was racing mountain bikes as a Cat 1 back then. Um, and the terrain we have here, I think, really lended itself to that. And I think as mountain biking became more popular, the trail networks in Stowe, I think, were ahead of us. There, there was more of it. But that's when Hardy Avery and Joe Cavalier started making the trails here. And that's really, you can't drive a car through Waterbury now without seeing a $5,000 mountain bike on the back of every other car. But I think mountain biking played a big role in in really changing the dynamics and bringing in a lot more youth into this town because there's so much recreation available right out the back door. Which is why we are kind of as successful as we are as a organization um, is because we're just a reflection of the community who wants to see more technical trails out there. I mountain biked before I came to Waterbury when I was in Chicago, but not at the level that's here. Um, I started to befriend a lot of the guys that built the trails over the years here, guys and girls that built the trails over here, and uh, there was talk about a separation from Stowe, because our, our local trails here in Waterbury were run at the time with a Stowe group, but a funding mechanism kind of forced Waterbury to, to decide that it should have its own group. I sat on the board initially with that. We ended up having the meetings upstairs and uh, that group's WADA, the Waterbury Area Trail Association. And uh, I mean, just their localized focus on the trail system here in Waterbury has improved the, the trail system and grown the trails immensely in the last you know number of years that they've been organized and uh, they're an important part to this this community for sure I mean, we are surrounded by I think one of the and I've been fortunate enough to mountain bike all over this country um, I feel we are we have one of the best mountain bike networks in the country available to us I just 
I like to be outside. If I, I, I can't be even at home in the summer. I'd rather go outside. If I'm having a beer, I'd rather go outside and walk around. And I think just being outside, there's nothing, nothing better. It's a privilege that we get to go mountain biking. And the days that it really sinks in are on days that I'm out on the trails and I see people riding past and they're just smiling or they're sounding real nervous and then all of a sudden they're stoked that they did something that they didn't think that they could do just moments before. And the ability to kind of shoulder that and build more trails so that other people can just leave whatever they're doing for the day and go ride um, is extremely important. It's an important escape that everybody truly needs that identifies with it.